in life, we need balance. And today, really in today's world, we um, have a deficiency in that respect. We all crave balance, but we don't know how to achieve it. And um, we look to superficial or um, kind of stopgap efforts in a way to appease ourselves or as a palliative measure when really it is that we have the power ourselves. I mean, it sounds trite, it sounds like something you've heard before, but one really does have a limitless amount of healing power and energy within one's own body. Um, and the other incredible aspect of this hot and cool, which creates balance, is that we turn our focus to nature and we see hot and cool everywhere. We see yin and yang everywhere. In the seasons, in the cycle of day and night, in the cycle of life and death. And we see that if we're able to live more closely with nature, we don't live in opposition to it. And it gets even more profound because when there is balance, there is health in the body. And if you look at our planet, and you look at us as human bodies, we are in essence microcosms of the planet. And we know that the planet is in dire need of our attention right now, the same way that our bodies are. So it goes even beyond our own parochialized vision of our own bodies, which is vital, but it helps us to turn our focus to what we need to do for the planet. And when we feel healthier and we feel stronger, we have a greater capacity to be kind to ourselves, to be kind to others, and then to take that new, that renewed energy and dedicate it to rehabilitating the planet, which we have so terribly abused. I kind of entitled the whole series Hot Body, Cool Mind because I thought to myself, everyone wants to look hot and everyone wants to feel cool. They want to just feel peace of mind and a kind of deep calm. And the other reason that that title appealed to me was because it's a play on the elements in this workout, on the concepts of yin and yang. And they are ancient Chinese concepts. Um, they're tossed around in modern colloquialisms and jargon, but um, they have very deep meanings. And everything in life is yin and yang. Yin is female, yin is reception. Yin is introspection, yin is darkness, yang is outward, it's bright, it's light, it's um, rising, it is daylight, total opposites. And that is the exact arc of the workout. So as I was saying earlier, when we rise in the morning, our energy is higher, it's yang or rising energy. And I decided that for the yang aspects of this workout, I would present the Pilates, which is very dynamic, heating, sweating, overall muscle toning, yoga, the same thing, with more of an emphasis on breath and dynamic flexibility, and dance. You can't get a better sweat than when you dance. So it's all of these yang elements combined with the yin, um, which takes you into the waking energy. And within, it gets a little complicated, within the umbrella of waking energy, there are yang elements too. So the five Tibetans are more yang or more dynamic, but the qigong and the yin are softer and more feminine.